So hi guys, welcome to the clinical vignettes. Let's discuss the clinical vignette number four. So what is the patient having? This is a 85 years old man who is having the rash over the forehead. Then it is also involving the tip of the nose and the left eye. So this person is having rashes and if you see the distribution forehead, forehead will be the frontal division, frontal division, then tip of the nose. So this will be the nasociliary. From the first line itself, actually we can start diagnosing the case and then is the eye. This is the lacrimal division. Now, can you tell me that which nerve had these three divisions, frontal division, lacrimal division, and the nasociliary division very correct so this is actually the ophthalmic division so it is actually the ophthalmic division of the fifth cranial nerve okay now along with this we are also having pain and we are having diminution of vision so this person is having rashes he is having pain he is having diminution of vision along with a fever malaise and burning sensation so he is also having the systemic features. He is also having the systemic features. We are having systemic features. We are having the rashes involving the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. Now look at the blood pressure slightly on the higher side 140 by 90. Pulse is also 92. Respiration 14. Temperature. There is fever also. Now a very very important thing we have a vasicular rash on the periorbital region and the lid margins. Eye is red. Chemosis. What is chemosis guys? I keep on telling this to you. It is the edema of the conjunctiva. Edema of the conjunctiva is called as chemosis and we also have the dendriform ulcers over the cornea. Now, what is our most likely diagnosis? Now, when they have used the word dendriform, it says a lot of things. So, dendriform ulcers can involve two things. When I say that it is a dendriform ulcer, see, when I say that it is a dendriform ulcer, it can be a dendritic ulcer also or it can be the pseudodendritic. Okay? It can be dendritic or pseudodendritic. Dendritic is by the herpes simplex virus. Pseudodendritic is by the herpes zoster virus. Now, what do you feel here? Here we are having systemic features. They are present in the herpes zoster. We have involvement of all the three divisions, frontal, lacrimal and the nasociliary division of the fifth nerve. So basically it is going towards the pseudodendritic lesions which are found in herpes zoster so if you look at the question what is the most likely diagnosis look at the options herpes simplex keratitis bacterial keratitis so bacterial keratitis may we cannot have dendriform ulcers trigeminal neuralgia trigeminal neuralgia may we will not have rashes we will not have systemic features so the only thing that you are left is herpes simplex keratitis you have your herpes so osteocaritis, okay? Now, out of the two, which is more important? Rashes you will not get in herpes simplex. Systemic features you will not get in herpes simplex. And therefore, answer is very, very clear. It is herpes zoster ophthalmicus. So in this way, going in a systematic way, analyzing each and every word, each and every line of the question, you can easily reach towards a diagnosis and you will see that some of the options are very, very quickly ruled out. So as you read all of this question, you can simply rule out the trigeminal neuralgia and the bacterial keratitis left only with herpes simplex and herpes zoster going about the dandriform ulcers going about the systemic features going about the rashes again we have ruled out the herpes simplex and therefore answer to the question is herpes zoster so stay tuned for more clinical vignettes happy ophthalmology